So here are five reasons why I think the Lotus Elise is probably the best pre-owned sports car you can buy in 2018. Uh, number one, it's the best looking car you can buy for $35,000, period. I don't think there's any sports car you can buy that is as modern looking, as aggressive, and just beautiful as the Lotus Elise. Number two, they are holding their value incredibly, incredibly well. Over the last two years, these cars have basically held on their own and actually are starting to be uh, slightly more expensive than they were when I bought mine back in 2016. Number three, now that Lotus has a deal with Geely and they are working on two new, you know, supercars, we'll call them that, something that's outside of the Elise and the Exige, um, I think there's a pretty good chance that, that there's going to be a lot more attention paid to Lotus, especially within the U.S. market in a couple of years when, when these new cars are introduced. I think, assuming they go well, that they'll do a couple of things. One, perception of the Lotus brand should be maintained or better than it is today. And I think number two is something that the dealership network for Lotus is very small. With this new partnership with Geely, I think there's a good chance that we're going to see more dealerships throughout the country. And, you know, maybe they'll be part of Volvo dealerships or, or whatever they're going to be. Um, but whatever they are, there should be a few, some positive side effects from that. It's not unreasonable to think that parts availability for the Elise and the Exige uh, will get better. And that would be a big plus. And then just people who know how to work on these cars will just have more access sort of across the country to mechanics that are, you know, have experience with the Elise. You know, these are not cars that you can just take anywhere. They're not terribly difficult, but you really do want people who know how to work on them to be working on them. So number four, maybe there will be a new Lotus Elise that's sold in the U.S. or maybe it will be some, you know, future platform. I think it's hard to tell exactly what's happening there. Um, but either way, whatever comes next is going to be undeniably awesome, I think. That's one thing that Lotus has done really well throughout its history. And like, if you go back and look at all of the models, for the most part, Lotus has always stayed very true to sort of its founding principles. As far as sports car companies, I think there are only really a handful that have really stuck to what made them great from the very beginning. And I think Lotus is absolutely one of them. They are probably the purest. In fact, the other companies that I look at that are similar in terms of having stuck to sort of guiding principles are Ferrari, Porsche, McLaren. And I think that really says a lot. It's not an easy thing to do. Lotus, you know, didn't have to keep making cars this way. They could have sold off the name or partnered with somebody and just made good looking cars that were not particularly interesting or special or they could have dumped the whole idea of simplifying and add lightness, but they haven't. You know, it's something that they've stuck to, they've stayed small, and while they've never been the number one manufacturer of sports cars ever, they've stuck to something that has made them unique and very special. And that's why I think they've been able to stick around because they have a level of fan support and people who kind of just love what Lotus represents and all that comes back to this being sort of the most, I think, exciting time for Lotus in recent memory. We haven't even seen what the cars are going to be yet, but they've done so much with the Elise platform and then the extended platform where they've made the V6 version of the Exige um, and the, you know, these awesome new Avoras. They've done so much with two platforms. You know, we're going to have these great new cars but then we're also going to have people that are looking back and saying, you know, what came before, what was part of that, that history, because this car came from a slightly earlier time and a Lotus was able to kind of slide it into the U.S. market um, with a bunch of exemptions. You know, while these new cars are going to be awesome, there's no doubt that they're going to have, you know, they're going to have to comply with new regulations. 
and this will be sort of one of the last, you know, really pure analog great cars that's, you know, pre a ton of safety regulations, which is just going to make it, you know, a little more raw, a little more visceral than the new stuff. The new stuff I'm sure will be faster. They will find new ways to make it exciting in different ways, but I think that these cars are going to remain exciting in the ways that the original Viper is exciting or that the old AC Cobra is exciting or the Caterham 7 is exciting. It's a different kind of experience and I have no doubt that what Lotus does next is going to be amazing, but I think that this will probably be, you know, the Elise like this is the end of an era and having the last bit of that you know, it's going to be fun and exciting and there's going to be interest in it for a long time. Buying one now makes a lot of sense while they're still pretty reasonable to get and there are still nice ones to, uh, to be had. I don't think that's going to last forever. And I'm not saying that just because I own one of the cars, but I think, you know, we're seeing fewer and fewer for sale, especially of 06 and newer models, and the prices are creeping up. So. I think now is a good time to pick one up here because you know they're not making more of them like this. And personally, while I think the S3 version is really cool and you know in other parts of the world, I think the S2 is the kind of ultimate version. It's saved Lotus in so many ways and just has that Le Mans look up front with I don't know, it's just a little curvier and sharper than the S3 version and it's a little less refined, but still refined enough. You know, it's just got, it has everything going for it. It's a modern day classic. It smells like gasoline. It smells like outgassing leather. It's all aluminum inside. I mean, there's, you just cannot beat this car. And the more you drive it, the more special and more fun it is. I just, I'm so excited that the driving season's back and I'm just so happy to be back in this car. And well, I said there'd be five reasons, so what's a good fifth reason? Um, I'm gonna let you come up with that for yourself. All I ask is that you go find a way to drive one of these cars. That will be the only thing that you need to know. Um, if you haven't done that yet, you've gotta go try one. There's nothing else like it. It will truly change your life to be able to go out into your garage or driveway when you want to and realize that you have this incredibly special sports car that's just ready for you when you are and is and there's nothing else like it on the planet um, oh well that's a good segue because there are fewer and fewer of these cars on this planet um, because Elon Musk is blasting cars based on this platform into space so that's a good bonus reason. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. I'm really excited to have the channel back up and running now that the winter is over. I'm not going to take a winter break ever again, and I intend to make this my full-time job in about a year. So, you know, one thing that would, would definitely help is if you hit that like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below to us, and definitely subscribe and hit the notification icon. It just lets YouTube know that this is a channel that you really like and it'll let you know when I drop new videos. And I promise I will not be going away anymore, um, ever again for a winter. And there will be new videos every single week, forever now. And I just moved into a new studio about five minutes from my house uh, that is set up just to edit these videos. Um, and so, you're about to see a lot of content come your way. And by subscribing, you really support the channel uh, and let people know that this is something you wanna watch and that's gonna help it become financially viable on its own. Um, I'm gonna make this a really cool place to be. And I'm so excited about the community that we have here. And now that we're over 400 subscribers, like it's growing, it grew in spite of me not releasing a video for months. And I am very grateful for that and I will not let you down. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a comment 
uh, down below test and we are we are back 